Greetings! Are your Conan builds feeling dark and empty? If you're looking for some ideas, or if this is just like, wow, you're in the right place. This video will be a comprehensive guide for how I built this walkway on an official server in Conan Exiles. Today, I'll be building in the Exile Lands in single player. I'm Shelbo Baggins, and I'll be your guide. Like any good builder, I'm first going to mark my boundaries. This walkway is bordering the building boundary near the unnamed city. This step really saves me from being my own worst enemy. Since I have tighter restrictions on the right hand side, that's exactly where I'm going to start building my walkway. At this stage, I'm mainly trying to make sure that everything I want to fit will fit within the boundaries, that my height looks good, that my various partitions could work. For this build, my partitions are the fountains, temples, walkway, and braziers. Initially, I'm going to show you the exact steps that I took to get to the desired result, and then I'm going to switch to third person where I'm going to mirror that work. I'm doing this because I personally find the first person camera to be pretty dizzying, and I also find that it's a very big time saver. And considering that I'm kind of a lazy person, any time that I can save, I'm very happy about. I'm ensuring that my ramp connects with the fountain above it. This creates a really crisp line. Beneath the fountains, I'm adding radium gem torches with full blue dye. I really wanted to have another set of storm glass fence foundations here at the base of my stairs. Fun gum, I wish that you would make it easier to place these. This will be the outer layer of the temple. It will serve as both a building buffer and a zone for radiant gem torches. I want the temple to be pretty eerie and spooky, and one of the things that I'm going to do to help with that is raise the height of the inner temple so that there's a little bit of a gap for light to peek through. Now I don't want this temple to be too big, and you can see that that platform was too small, so I'm just temporarily going to expand out. And later, once my temple is placed, I'll just remove this outermost platform and add storm glass fence foundations and it will have a much smaller footprint. I'm adding ceiling pieces to the inner temple. I've noticed that the light reflection works a little bit better this way. <laughs> so another feature request for Funcom. I really don't like this process of dropping dyes into radium gem torches. I feel like it could be so much easier. And if anybody knows of a mod out there, please let me know in the comments. I'm either going to be researching or building my own as a proof of concept. It would be my first mod.
I have to admit, I was riding the struggle bus really hard here. My wheels were spinning so ridiculously hard. I just can't even describe the amount of derps that I had in this moment. So this is what I would have done. I personally like to sink my fence foundations. I do this because I notice that my character doesn't trip over the little ramp lip, which I haven't been able to reproduce since the 3.0 update. So yeah, I'm not sure if they fixed that. But personally, I don't want to take any chances because it's one of the most irritating deaths I've ever had on an official server. Riding on a horse, going down the walkway, tripping on the ramp, and then dying due to a face plant in the sand dune below. And here, another feature request. I would really like to be able to upgrade my fence foundation pieces to different types. Recently, I learned that it's possible to also use door frames to adjust the height of your foundations. I would recommend using this approach going forward. And if you'd like to learn more, here's a link to check out. Another instance of hiding radium gem torches. Something that I really like about this placement is that it helps the storm glass glow. And now, back to the original build. The correct height that this should have been based off of was the ceiling that the previous ramp connected to, not the rail. I'm not kidding when I say that I struggled really hard on this, not realizing that I could do things so much simpler. Now I'm just going to hollow out a lot of my foundation pieces. On the official servers, I do notice that this does seem to do a bit better in terms of lag.
Chris Sears, who of course I'm going to make do the snake dance in honor of Set. Since I'm in single player and don't have to worry about the decay timer, I will summon Serpent Men. My god, <laughs> an NPC stuck in the fires. I cannot get him out. I'm going to actually place a dancer who looks like my character, a fashionable ring wraith, that is being summoned. Remember to dress and pose your thrall before offering them to the flames. Mm -hmm. And now to make sure that my temples are symmetric by upgrading a few strong glass fence foundations and wall pieces. The official server build has quite a few videos of it so far, including an entry for the October contest. <laughs> 